I enjoy the pain of Raptors fans. Just kidding, I might be a Warriors fan, but I'm not evil. I can have empathy for other people, but the refs will not as the Raptors are going to run out of time. The Raptors are down one with nine seconds left and possession of the ball. Fred Van Vliet passes it high for Pascal Siakam. At this point, I'm surprised that Lou Dort didn't warp through space and time to get that pass like he does against the Lakers all the time. But I mean, being in this situation in the first place against the Thunder, you kind of deserve to lose. However, Van Vliet still has an opportunity to win this game. A screen by Siakam gets doored off Fred and puts Shea on him. Fred can't get by Shea. That's great defense. I can't wait for Shea fans to say he's the best wing defender in the NBA because 5'9 Fred couldn't body him. Baisley blocks Fred, just barely getting part of the ball. The game's basically over now though. The ball is above the backboard with 3 tenths of a second left. But this guy who has an awesome ass name, Justin Champenny, sounds like Tenpenny with a drinking problem. He taps it in and everybody on the Raptors starts celebrating. Scotty Barnes starts sprinting towards Justin. This run is terrifying by the way. Like NBA players are actually like really scary. I can hurdle 39 inches but they could probably hurdle me. One advantage with the NBA for those that hit game winners is that there are only 15 players on a roster and they don't get absolutely destroyed meanwhile I'll try to step on home plate after a walk off. It's like stepping on a shotgun mousetrap. Look at them, so happy. The refs are about to hit him with the curveball though. Right in the Raptors arena while they're celebrating. <laughs> this Raptors mascot is just walking casually on midcourt. Imagine the mascot being the least excited person in the whole entire arena. Let's see it more exactly. At 4 tenths, he's not even off the ground and the ball is way high. And yeah, it's late. You can't deny it. You're not space and time warper Lou Dort. So the refs are going to take it away. So this great moment for Champagne just gets destroyed. Dear Spaisley, after the shot goes in, falls down. Oh, I hate the banana splits. Let's get the opposing team reactions too. Shay's face is amazing. Did that just fucking happen? Kenrich looks and gets away from the play. If I look and walk away quickly, no one will notice my sick ass beard. Bucket doesn't count so the Thunder end up winning this one. Maybe Champagne can get another one. I wish I was like these Raptors fans after figuring out my team just barely lost. Like half of these fans just seem totally happy and content with losing. Anyway, Thunder win. Subscriber Lou Dort will warp space and time to block you. This video is a wrap.